Nacho Peak State Park is about a 15 minute drive from Saguaro National Park. As far as the actual trail, it's about 3.2 miles, rated as difficult, and has quite a big elevation change of about 1,500 feet. That should give you an idea about how steep it is. 1,500 feet in a mile and a half is a lot. Hiking Hunter Trail at Picacho Peak State Park. Before we get into our review, I just want to call out, if you have a crippling fear of heights, this really isn't the trail for you. A fun fact I learned along the way. The elevation starts early in the hike, and a great warm up for what's to come. A quarter way into the hike, you reach the saddle, a beautiful viewpoint, and an opportunity to catch your breath. As you crest over the saddle, the real fun starts. We gloved up and started the deep descent. A bit further on, we passed a few hikers who warned us it was about to get significantly harder and who wanted to make sure we were prepared with gloves. I stared at the side of the mountain beyond them and immediately understood as my stomach dropped. The path up looked crazy and scary as it narrowly wound around the edge of the cliff. The best advice we can give is to go slow, take your time, wear gloves, and have three points of contact always. And biggest tip, do not look down or to your right as you head up because there is nothing but air and a horrible drop off. It was a lot, more mountain climbing and scrambling than hiking. There were a few sections in which we asked ourselves, why do they let people do this? One cable, just enough room for one foot in front of another, a somewhat crappy chain link fence in a few parts, a piece of wood thrown down to get you across what otherwise is just open air, tries to give you a fake sense of security. I will admit, I got real panicky. As we passed other hikers, I at least realized I wasn't alone in my anxiety. This hike is definitely a challenge, physically and mentally. But we pushed on, and eventually reached the top. The view from the top was incredible. You could see miles away. You definitely get that, I'm on the top of the world feeling. Overall, my opinion, for those who like some adventure, and looking for a hike that challenges hiking skills a little bit more than a typical A to B hike, I would add this hike to your travel list. It's a must stop in Arizona. I'd agree and say yes, this is definitely a unique hike. Do not underestimate the fact that it's only 3.2 miles. Every tenth of it makes you work for it. Did I personally love it? Absolutely not. Did it cure my fear of heights? Far from it. Did I feel some sense of accomplishment fighting through my fear and making it to the top? No. I was glad I didn't die, but that's about it. Would I go again? Hard pass. But I can somewhat understand the draw of it. So, we can both agree it was a unique and challenging hike. If you're looking for a different kind of trail experience in the Tucson area and think you can handle it, we say go for it. <laughs>